When we shot this segment, we weren't aware that this sanctuary for big cats would eventually be featured in one of the most bizarre and widely watched documentary series in Netflix history. And we had no reason to suspect anything heinous had taken place here. But it definitely was wild. When lions and tigers wind up performing in circuses or caged in roadside zoos or purchased as pets, it often ends badly. When that happens, the animals may land at Tampa's Big Cat Rescue, where they'll be nursed, fed, and sent on vacation. Susan Bass of Big Cat Rescue. Yes, hi, how are you? You're gonna show us around, huh? Absolutely, I'll show you the whole sanctuary. We'll see everything from lions and tigers to bobcats and servals. Santa Brass, say something. Sassy. We have some former circus performers. We actually have a lot of them that were pets. We have some that came from failed roadside zoos. We have some that were saved from being fur coats. How many cats do you have on the premises right now? We have close to 100. And how many have you rescued over the years? We've rescued, I estimate, about 250. This place is open to the public, but it's not a zoo. Right, we're a sanctuary, so the cats come first. Everything we do is for the benefit of the cats that are in our care. Over here, this is our vacation area. It's a huge two and a half acre enclosure. So the lions and tigers actually go on two week vacations in this area. <laughs> kind of a big cat resort. Exactly, exactly. A lot of big balls, they, they must like playing with those. Yes, they do. In fact, most of the larger cats have the ball the size of this red one. Those weigh 80 pounds. They're like circus elephant balls. The black leopard's over to the right. And we actually have two black leopards, Jumanji and Sabra. What's this? This is Pharaoh. He is actually a white serval. We actually have two white servals. We believe they're the only white servals in existence. And they're both here at Big Cat Rescue. This, this cat was from the circus, huh? Yes, he was. What do you feed these big cats? If you think about it in the wild, a cat's gonna eat the entire prey, except for maybe fur or feathers. So it's a mix of organs and ligaments and bones, everything that the cat needs for protein. Yeah, she's kind of looking at me like I might be protein, you know what I'm saying? Nikita, we actually rescued her. She was guarding the drugs at a crack house in Tennessee. Really? Yes, when the first responders showed up to confront the drug dealers, they found a chained lion to the cement floor guarding the drugs. You know, pretty bad, but you gotta admit, probably a pretty good way to guard your drugs. <laughs> you know? Right. Now there's some of these cats you say are under witness protection program. What, what do you mean by that? The owner's trying to get them back. Um, they were moved to our facility so that we can have them until the final uh, judgment, which we hopefully will be in our favor. This is Max. Max is a bobcat. He was actually purchased over the internet to be a pet by a man who lived in Rhode Island. What kind of idiot buys one of these dangerous things for a pet? I mean, it's just not common sense. Definitely not common sense, especially in Rhode Island where it's actually illegal to own a bobcat as a pet. I'm not going to buy a pet that's going to tear my throat out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm thinking ahead. That's a good point. Susan, if somebody wants to find out more about Big Cat Rescue, where should they go? We're located in Tampa, Florida, just north of downtown, about 20 minutes.